you ask anybody about the Helium 10 Chrome extension, and the first thing that comes to mind is X-Ray. That's the flagship tool in the Chrome extension. There's, there's other tools here in the Chrome extension, as I showed you in the overview video, but right now we are going to go over the most popular tool in the Chrome extension, and that is X-Ray. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up, you know, some settings that in the back end that you can that you can change as you see fit. And then I'm gonna give you an overview of how to read an X-Ray search result page and you know get some information from it and in another video i'm going to go a, a little bit more into detail about um how to do some advanced filtering and some also exporting into other tools such as a csv file all right so let's go ahead and hop right into this the very first thing i want to talk about is setting it up because there's actually a, a feature that a lot of people don't realize that the x-ray has and that's a setup for the success score so let me show you how to do that if i click here on the actual chrome extension and i go right here into settings okay this gives me some extension options all right so a lot of this stuff is not just x-ray related i i say keep all of these on this here is about x-ray all right this is multi-factor success score and this is two factor uh, success score by default the two-factor success score is activated and i'm going to explain this in a little bit but basically this is saying that out of the top 10 listings on any page i would love to know how many products there have more than x number of revenue and less than this number of views so you you do what works for you i'm going to go ahead and say uh four thousand dollars revenue and i'm going to say i want to see what's less than a hundred and 25 reviews all right now i'm going to save that okay so now what's going to happen when i go to a search result page let's go ahead and type in coffin shelf all right now what happens when i run x-ray it's going to give me some data here on those top 10 products here on the upper right hand side all right so this is how uh x-ray looks all right i click this and then i hit x-ray right and it's going to show me that it's loading all of the products here on this page, all of the sponsored products and all of the organic results. Organic results mean it's just what comes up when you search for the product. Sponsored means somebody actually paid uh, for that placement. So total, there are 60 products on this page. Uh, as you can see here, it usually just takes a few seconds for it to come up, all right? So remember how I set up that two-factor success score? Well, that is right here. So on this page, it is telling me, hey, five out of the top 10 products have revenue over 4,000 because that's what I specified. And then it says six out of the top 10 products have under 125 reviews, all right? If I click up here on related keywords, what it's going to do is it's going to see and check out some long tail versions of Coffin Shelf, and it's gonna give me some of that information as well. It's gonna show me the search volume of some of these keywords, and long tail is because it's taking it from the autocomplete, all right? And then how many check marks it has is basically a represent re representation of this number. So if it had three check marks, that means that I would have had at least a seven and a seven on here. All right. So that is the first part up here. Related keywords gives me some instant insight into the Amazon autocomplete right up here at the top. Here's the, the keyword that I searched for coffin shelf. This here is the uh, estimated search volume of the last 30 days. And I can click here and I can see a uh, history of the search volume. I can go 90 days, one year, all time to see the estimated trailing 30 days search volume for these different keywords. This is the total revenue of the organic listings on the page. Here's the average revenue. Here's the average BSR and the average number of reviews. All right. Now, here, as we can see, is a filter button. We're gonna go over that in another video. Uh, the first uh, column here, this is the page rank here. If you ever see SP, that means sponsored. This pin here, this pins it to my list, and that is actually in uh, Helium 10. Uh, it's in the kind of like the black box tool, and you'll see that in uh, Helium 10 if I want to like maybe look at that uh, product a little bit later. Now, if I wanted to delete any of these one by one, I could just select it like right here. And then I would just hit delete. All right. Same time I can hit, I can select this and I can run a keyword search. I'm going to give you guys more information on that in the next video. All right. So uh, let me just go ahead and delete this one from the results. Do you want to remove this? Yes, I do. 
All right, so now that one's gone. Here is the ASIN. If I hit this button, this will copy the ASIN. So instead of having to like try and click and drag, I just click this and it's going to copy it. All right, uh, here is the brand name. Here is the price of the product, the retail price. Here is the estimated number of sales monthly. Uh, here is the sales graph. This is really cool because I can actually go into here and see the estimated day-by-day -day sales uh, history of this product going back all time. Uh, here is the uh, revenue, okay, the estimated revenue. All this is, guys, is uh, the multi uh, multiplication of the number of estimated sales by what the uh, retail price is, all right? So 582 times 29.97 is 17,000 estimated sales for that product. Uh, here is the uh, bestseller rank. If I click on this, I can actually get the bestseller rank history, all right? Here is the FBA fees. You know, how much uh, Amazon charges to pick, pack, and ship this product, all right? The number of active sellers. That means, you know, multiple people can be selling it on a listing. This will tell you how many uh, are selling. Uh, the number of uh, reviews or ratings, I'm sorry, not the number of reviews. That's the number of reviews is uh, ratings is right here. Review count. This is the star rating. All right. So we've got five stars on this product and there's overall 1,099 ratings. All right. Here is the review velocity. Uh, if it's a green number, that means it's increased this many reviews in the last 30 days. All right. If there's a negative number, I don't see any negative numbers here. Oh, there is one here. This person lost 1,000 reviews in the last 30 days. This is the seller who's got the buy box. Here's the category. Here is the size tier. Uh, this is the level of fulfillment, FBA, or if it's fulfilled by merchant, I don't know, here's one, it says MFN. And if it's AMZ, that means it's shipped and sold by Amazon. Uh, we've got other categories here too, such as dimensions uh, of the, the package, the weight, and if the information is available when that listing was created and we even have a, a column for the number of images that is on here so this is just an overview of x-ray in the next video i'm going to give you guys a little bit more in depth on what's going on how to use the, these filters how to download it load more results and some other pages that x-ray works on so stay tuned for the next video